The Minnesota Department of Health has launched a new podcast series, Stories from the Field. I believe that's kind of what started this whole this whole crisis and started to get the ball rolling was this overprescribing of opioids to our community. The podcast is aimed at addressing the opioid epidemic. Joining us live this morning on Skype to talk more about it is Jace Roa, case manager at Homeward Bound. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so we know you are part of this podcast here along with two other health professionals. Um, talk to us a little bit about the podcast. How did you get involved? What is it about? Um, I got involved by, I was contacted by one of the doctors in the field that works with the community. And um, he contacted me and asked me to be part of the series because he knows about my past. I've had um, my past dealings with opioids. I was in my own addiction for well over 25 years. And I was a daily IV drug user and use um, opioids. Mm -hmm. How is the opioid epidemic affecting the Native American community specifically? <laughs> You know, our community is hit hard. Um, we are more, seven times more likely to OD than our white counterparts. Um, so we have a real issue and a crisis on our hands. It's affected my community um, by our unsheltered. A lot of our unsheltered um, relatives are using daily IV um, opiate users. And so it's, it's really um, a big crisis at this time. Now, Jason, uh, Jace, as you mentioned, you have struggled yourself with addiction, but uh, have now sort of used that experience to be there at Homeward Bound. Tell us a little bit about Homeward Bound and what you do there. Homeward Bound is a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week shelter for Native Americans. It's Native American culturally based. So we have 50 beds. We have 30 beds for men, 20 beds for women, and our staff is mainly Native American. I think there's something to be said when a Native American can sit across from another Native American and I can say, hey, I've been there, I've done that, and I can help you. How can I help you? You know, And that's the main thing um, that we stress on. We like to talk to our clients, our relatives, um, and ask them what they would like and where they would like to go because we'll have a better success rate um, by talking to them by seeing them as a person first instead of a client um, and we uh, just treat them like relatives because they are they're our relatives we're all related mm -hmm. in your opinion what needs to be done to stop the opioid crisis you know uh, what can be done i don't have the answers but what in my opinion would be more low barrier housing um programs where people can who use drugs people who use drugs can use outside of the home come back into their housing and not be asked to leave not be kicked out on the street because they're self-medicating um, i think there needs to be more education around that programs there needs to be more education around narcan and taking away stigma from people who are in the cycle of addiction because we say that there are relatives, well, why are we treating them a different way than we would our sister, our uncle, our mother, our, you know, somebody that we're related to. Mm -hmm. Jace, Jace, thank you so much for your work and thank you for sharing your story with us. We appreciate it. Thank you, thank you for having me. Yeah. And you can go to wcco.com links to check out this podcast series. It's called Stories from the Field.